will USCIS waive your in-person adjustment of status interview? It is a possibility. Watch this video to hear how USCIS is handling the massive backload of adjustment of status based on marriage cases. First, a little background. For marriage green card cases, fiancé visa cases, and naturalization cases, there has always been an interview for the applicant near the end of the process. In Northern California, for 16 years during the Bush and Obama administrations, interviews would occur about four months after the case was filed. However, starting with the Trump administration, these interviews have been regularly delayed by several months to a year or more. The pandemic made the wait times worse, especially for cases that had been filed in 2020. Some of those cases have still not yet been scheduled for an interview. USCIS realized that it needed to make an overall policy decision as to how they wish to handle the postponed and current interviews. It appears what they are doing is simply waiving interviews in some, but not all, marriage green card cases. Apparently, if you think that a case looks like it could be decided by mail instead of in person, they're sending out requests for evidence letters. These ask the couple to prove their marriage via documentary evidence such as tax returns, photos, leases, etc. If USCIS is satisfied with the evidence, then permanent residence is granted without the need for an in-person interview. If USCIS is not satisfied, then an in-person interview will be necessary. Although there continues to be a backlog, it is unlikely that USCIS will hire more immigration officers to shorten overall wait times in these cases. You may not realize this, but USCIS depends on most of its funding from user filing fees and not the US taxpayer. Given that the filing fees for most applications have not risen recently, they would likely not have the money to hire a large number of officers to handle the marriage green card interviews. In a video we made almost three years ago, we stated that waiving interviews in marriage green card cases could be an option for USCIS, especially when the immigrant entered with a fiancé visa, as an interview would have been done of the immigrant in their home country. We also suggested in that video that USCIS could handle cases via Zoom, or via another video method. The Supreme Court has heard oral arguments via phone. Congress too has had some hearings done telephonically. The Federal Bankruptcy Court for years has handled certain hearings telephonically. Perhaps USCIS could figure out a way to handle some marriage-based green card cases via some video method. This option would allow USCIS to handle many more interviews than could be done in person in a day. This would decrease the current backlog of marriage green card cases dramatically and allow them to be processed in four months instead of a year or more. In conclusion, USCIS has started to waive in-person interviews in some marriage green card cases. Cases that they have determined, based on length of time of marriage, a prior fiancé visa interview, or some other criterion, don't need the extra scrutiny of an in-person interview. Hopefully, they will allow all cases to be handled this way in the future. If you learned something from this video, please give us a like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. The Law Offices of Lawrence Gruner Incorporated has handled immigration cases worldwide for over 25 years. We have 5 star ratings and are located in downtown Sacramento, California. We would be happy to talk to you about your potential immigration case. You may reach us at 888-801-6558 or at attorneygruner at gmail.com. Our correspondence is free and confidential. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be relied on for legal advice. Although we are attorneys, we are not your attorney. Always consult with an attorney prior to filing paperwork or doing any immigration-related activity.